Hello students, welcome to the Lara for Grammar class. Today our topic is phrases and clauses. What is a phrase? A phrase is a group of words. Group of words means pala vartigal arangiya vakhiyam. Without a subject and verb. So in the phrase la subject irkadu verb irkadu. So apove nama therinji kuno anga arthamulla vakhiyam illa. That functions in a sentence as one part of speech. So, and the or sentence la idu vandu oru part da. So, apove vandu thamma theriyu anga meaning illa apint. See the examples. Leaving behind the dog. So, it's a meaningless sentence because there is no subject and verb. Snazzing into a fence. Before the first test. So, before the first test, test ko munnadi enna first test ko munnadi enna naru vachi. Thamma kiri me theriyadi. So, it's a meaningless. Because there is no subject and verb. That is, who are you doing? What are you doing? This is not a subject or a verb. So, it is called phrase. Now, simple phrase, I will tell you. Now, the train is going. The train is going. The engine is going. The compartment is going. The compartment is just joined. It is going to move. The engine is going to move. Now, the engine is going to move. The phrase is going to move. Just compartments. Without the engine. The engine is going to move. Compartments. இதுக்கு meaning வேணும் அப்படினா, engine அப்படின்ற ஒரு பகுதி வேணும். Let's see the types of phrases. There are eight different kinds of phrases. They are noun phrase, adjective phrase, adverb phrase, prepositional phrase, participial phrase, infinitive phrase, verb phrase, gerund phrase. What is the class? The class is a group of words that contains at least a subject and a verb. So, class is a direct opposite to the phrase. So, in phrase, there is no subject and verb. So, phrase is a subject and verb. Verb is a verb. It's a meaningless. Meaning, we know what is the meaning. It's a meaning. It's a meaning. But class is not. In class, there is a subject and verb. So, subject and verb are not the same. We are not the same. There are two types of classes. What are they? Independent and dependent class. So, dependent and independent class are two classes. So, in, in, so, in dependent class, there are three varieties of that. They are adjective class, adverb class, noun class. So, what is a dependent class? Dependent class is the class that cannot stand alone and doesn't complete a complete thought. So, the Taniya Nikya Muriya is a sentence, Taniya Irandalu, the meaning Tara. It's like a phrase because you understand me. So, meaningless. The independent class. So, independent class is a group of words containing a subject verb. So, subject verb is a verb. அங்கு அர்த்தம் கிடைக்கும் and form a complete that முழுமையான தகவல் நமக்கு தரும் an independent class can stand alone இது தனியாம் இக்கு முடியும் see the examples sing see the examples Jim studied in the library for his chemistry quiz so Jim studied in the library librarylல படிக்கிறாங்க for his chemistry quiz காக படிச்சிட்டுக்காங்க. So, இங்க வந்து நமக்கு subject இருக்கு, verb இருக்கு, இது வந்து நமக்கு முழுமையான தகவல தரது. So, it's an independent class. Mike had a great time at the party last night. So, in this sentence, there is a subject, Mike, and there is a verb, had. So, it gives a complete meaning. நமக்கு முழுமையான தகவல தரது. Okay, students, thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we have learnt what is a phrase. So, phrase uh, is one part of the sentence. It doesn't have subject and verb. And it has eight types. And what is a class? A class is a group of words which contains subject and verb. So, the subject and verb are come. There are two types of curriculum. Uh, dependent class and independent class. So, dependent class is also like a phrase. Phrase Maritha, meaningless, without subject and verb. So, independent class of India, it has subject and verb. It doesn't depend others. So, Thank you.